What is going on everybody? Today I am doing the Santoro Fab Works Nacho Daddy Crash Bars, the front and the rear. I already have this side on, I couldn't wait last night, so it's not like I was going to film that anyways because it's on the other side. So this shouldn't be too long of an installation, at least for the back, the front is going to be a little more because I have to take my floorboard mounted highway pegs off just to be able to remove the factory crash bar. So we'll get this going here in a minute. So, while I was down in Florida, I was contacted by Country Road Customs, who uh, Ray Moto's, Ray's Moto Life is working with, uh, and he found out what I was doing and wanted to help out. So he was able to order these crash bars for me, and I bought them, paid for them on June 1st, and received them on the 26th. So he. Uh, he got some turnaround done quick on that. Um, so run over there to Instagram, check out Country Road Customs if you're interested in any parts. He's selling a, a bunch of performance parts and all that. So I guess right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the camera, break the bike down to where I need, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this rear set done. All right, so as you can see, had to remove the seat, had to remove the tour pack. Had to remove the saddlebag and had to remove this cover because I didn't want the cover to get scratched. So with the rear set, one bounce in here, I have to cut this right here. And I cut the other side right where the bend started flattening out. Then I'll take this bolt out, pull the other bar up, get it going. And I know somebody's going to say, why are you using pliers on this? you got to put some tension on it and it um, helps if you got a little leverage all right so now this is cut you got to pull this bolt out and I'm not reusing this so chunking it so if you look where it's going to mount. You don't even really have to take out as much as I did, but I took it out right where the bin stopped. Okay. So, you may have some issues with the powder coat getting in the hole. Not a big deal. Just keep trying. longer of the bolts go in the top. And I am using Loctite. Or some people like to just call it red lock. But to me it's all Loctite. And even though the rear one has a nylon nut. I'm still putting a little bit on there because, well, better safe than sorry.
So your line, your your line's not going to be 100% perfect on either side. So just leave the top loose. Get it the bolt going to go in at an angle. Then when you start tightening it down, it will pull itself to where it needs to be. You don't know what German tight is? It's Guten tight, and that one's done. Now all you got to do is tighten this one down. And make sure it's good and tight. And that's it. That is your rear crash bar. You can see you still have this mountain point here, which they make chachos for if you wanted to add some color to it. Same with the sliders. And then the wheel adapters with the wheels they sent me was the Santoro Cadillac wheels and they seem way too soft and really 60s early 70s roller skate-ish so that's why I went with uh, reissue wheels from the 80s just to give it a little bit of flair alright so I'm going to get all this back together and then I'm gonna start working on the front. All right, sorry about that. My mic actually was apparently a little loose. But what I am doing is pulling off the Zero 3D floorboard mounted highway peg to get access to this Torx bolt right here that holds the lower crash bar on. And right here, one point now, there's two bolts you can just loosen up a little and lift the crash bar off after the two lower bolts are removed and of course make sure you use your uh, loctite when you put your hardware back on because you don't want to drop it on the road when somebody's behind you all right as you can see one person can successfully install this crash bar without smacking it all over your front fender or anything you just got to take your time and be careful with it and get your first bolt hand tight throw your second bolt in there hand tight and then we'll go and uh, put the lower bolts in right here which is uh, you know self-explanatory goes right back in the same hole Tighten it all the way down. Make sure it won't come out on the road. Tighten your two bolts up on your frame and you're good to go. All right, and as always, make sure you're really good and tight here. Make sure that torque's on there. And now you can put your front floorboard mount back on, whether it be stock or if you're like me with the Zero 3Ds, you can, uh, Pretty much see how far they sit out right there and you just crank that bad boy on down get her nice and tight and put the bolt back into the floorboard to the mount and she's good to go all right so hopefully uh, i'm probably gonna have voiceover on the rest of this and hopefully this takes because i noticed that my mic wasn't working just a minute ago uh I know somebody's gonna say, why did you use a pipe cutter? Why didn't you go a uh, die grinder? Would've been faster or a grinder with a cutoff wheel. Yes, it would've, but I didn't want to actually nick my exhaust. I wanted a clean cut with nothing to clean up afterwards. And that's why I use a pipe cutter. And it also shows if you don't have a set of tools to do this job, you can go buy a pipe cutter. It's way cheaper than a grinder. And you know, if you got T-handle Allen headset, a T45 Torx bit uh, socket, the long Allen head sockets are really useful, and box wrench and some thread lock. That's all you really need for this job. So I wanted to make sure if you didn't have like tools readily available or nothing like that, it would, would not cost you an arm and leg to do it. Uh, I already had all this stuff, so that's why I went that route. Uh, I, 
to the next thing, Country Road Customs. I gotta give them a special shout out. Uh, they are on Instagram. Their store links in Instagram. They are not a scam. I, I know somebody's probably thinking that. The proof's right here. They are legit. If they wasn't legit, I wouldn't even be doing a video promoting them. Uh, I ordered these on the 1st of June, got them on the 26th, and today's the 27th. So, knowing when you order something like Crash Bars and they have to be built and powder coated and then packaged and all that it takes a while so you're not getting them in overnight because i do not think santoro fabworks actually operates that way some companies may i don't think santoro does i don't think they're big enough company to do that but they have really qualities in these bars they're really cool looking and i got the wheel mount back here i was going to do the wheel mount up here but uh yeah, I might not even do it. I might just leave the actual sliders on it and just the one wheel back here. And if I ever do hit this wheel or damage this wheel or anything, I got two more in the house that I can just switch it out for. No big deal, right? Uh, I have seen somebody put the wheel here and then put a wheel up here, which is pretty pointless because bike flips upside down you're going to tear your lids up before your wheels even hit so yeah just do the one wheel mount down here if you don't have the floorboard mounted highway pegs you could probably do it up here and it may help a little bit but i don't think it's going to help that much so yeah it, it's going to be what you want to do at that point uh, they do operate with the floorboard mounted highway pegs you can lean your foot up against the outside of the slider if you like, or you, know, you could probably just throw your leg straight up here. I haven't actually played that far with it yet. But there's your options. Uh, go check out Country Road Customs on Instagram. The link to the store is on Instagram. They, he and Ray's Moto Life is doing a thing right now. When Country Road Customs hits 500 followers, Ray's Moto Life hits 500 subs, they're gonna do an LS2 helmet giveaway. So y'all go check that out. If you're not subscribed or following, please go do that. Uh, I should have my build video out before this one comes out. God, I really hope I do. I'm a bad YouTuber sometimes. And just ask gliding on twos. We have to push each other. Um, so if I do have that out, I'll put that in here. So y'all go check that out. If you have not seen it yet, and uh, you, I know you'll notice that these were already installed in the videos because I'm actually going tomorrow to film it. So, uh, yeah, I'm a horrible YouTuber sometimes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I got a suspension video that should be coming out and a shoe review video coming out. So uh, be ready for that one because this is by far the best superior shoe around and that video is going to be fun and the suspension video is going to be really fun i don't know when that one's coming out i'm trying to come up with a way i can sit there and show it under work doing ridiculous stuff without killing myself so that one i don't know when that one's if it's already out or if it's going to be coming out it's in the pipeline um, so keep an eye out for that. Y'all go hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and it'll let you know whenever I go live or put out a new video. Uh, and thumbs up, you know, give me a thumbs up and comment, please. It helps me in the algorithm. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I guess I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.